hey everyone thank you so much for tuning back to urban tropical this is going to be a really quick video on the colocasia pharaoh's mask if you are thinking of planting this one or you are thinking should i be growing this in the uk or colder climate countries i just want to give you a my perspective on it so this one it was planted here in march if you remember you're from uk we had the worst spring this year so temperature dropped many times and all the leaves died i had absolutely nothing left on it and i almost thought that i have killed this plant and uh, again one of many to add to my dying list <laughs> so this one actually it bounced back in the month of late may it just stayed dormant all the way so anyway survived cut story short i just want to say that it's not really hard to look after this plant it doesn't demand much care as long as you give it water and you give it sun and that's it again i am a killer when it comes to growing things in pots pots are not really designed for me just because i don't have the dedication normally people have for their pots so i try not to have anything in pots and uh, the reason this was in pot because i did not have space for this plant so i bought it and i just wanted to grow it so now i'm saying someone who kills things in pots that it has survived and next to it is a lemon and lime they were both planted at the same time lemon and lime actually did well in, uh, when it was a pretty bad winter uh, spring in april it kind of carrying on putting new leaves you can now see the leaf size is bigger and it has also produced uh, a baby plant underneath as well on the other hand pharaoh's mask hasn't done that but all in all it just looks amazing so i would assume that every leaf is gonna put on it will be a bigger leaf but now the weather has changed now we are hitting autumn so that means this is it this might be actually the last leaf you will put on because i will have to uh, do winter storage so that this plant because it's not frost hardy maybe i'm talking another month eventually it will be dug up from my pot here so yeah in terms of care this is super easy if you are considering no special treatment I have got just normal soil with a lot of manure in it so that it can retain water because as i say i'm pretty bad with the pots and in terms of sunshine this one is on the east facing side of my garden so it gets in summer sun all the way from early morning till maybe two three o'clock in the afternoon so it's a pretty sunny location and it had no sun damage absolutely none whatsoever so all in all it has been actually a real beauty absolutely stunning in terms of height in the hotter countries it can gain a lot of height in the UK I'll see if it can survive this winter of course stored not uh, outside and I'll see how well it does next year this is just the new one new leaf here unfurling you can see still got the veins which is just gonna get darker and darker to this really beautiful purple shade and yeah it then just looks amazing uh i'm actually really happy with this plant <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in bye bye